Hi, it's Andrea. Uh, thanks for coming to watch my video today. Um, I just want to ask you a quick question about your weight loss. Um, are you struggling to lose weight? Have you been trying to lose weight for a while now, a couple of months, maybe longer even, and you're getting really frustrated, you don't know what to do, you've tried lots of different diets, maybe your friends are on diets as well, and, and they're having some success, but you feel like you're, you're just getting stressed out and you just don't know what to do anymore. Um, there's plenty of diets out there, um, I could name a few of offhand, it's just um, like the low GI diet, um, you've got a liquid diet where you're having two drinks and then an evening meal, uh, there's the low carb diet as well. A lot of these diets, um, they don't work out long term in my opinion. Um, for example, you could get bored of them easily, you can be doing them for a couple of months, um, especially the, you know, the, the liquid diet. You could be doing for a couple of months and then you get bored of having the, the drinks for lunch, the drinks for breakfast, um, or maybe you know you go on holiday. You know how are you going to keep up the diet on holiday? And that's when it starts to get a bit more difficult. And also some of these diets um, they can mess around with your blood sugar levels, your hormones, your metabolism, and and then what happens when you stop the diet and you go back to normal eating again? And the, the weight creeps back on, doesn't it? And, and then you're just getting a bit frustrated, you're getting depressed, and you just don't know what to do. Um, and then when you're getting depressed, you're reaching for, for the chocolate biscuit, and then you find like you've eaten two or three, and you've, or you've even eaten a whole packet of biscuits, and then you're feeling guilty about eating them. Um, and then you, you can create a, a bad relationship around food, which isn't good at all. Um, and you're also wondering, how do normal people eat? How do thin people stay thin? What do they eat? You know, how can somebody walk around with a, a bar of chocolate in the bag and they can have just two pieces and put it back and not he eat the whole thing? And it's all about creating a good relationship with food um, and not getting depressed around food to the point where I think for a lot of people it stops them from going out. You know, you go into a restaurant and you just... You're feeling a bit stressed, you know, what we're going to eat, uh, or you're going to a, someone's birth, someone's party, and there's all this food there, and you, you're feeling really bad because you know you're going to eat more than what you're supposed to eat. So you really want to try and create a good, healthy relationship with food. So what is the ideal diet? What, what can you eat? You know, you just, your life's so stressful, but now, nowadays anyway. You've got, you're working longer hours at work, um, you maybe have young children to look after, you feel like you just don't have time to cook healthy meals, you don't have time for exercise. But it really doesn't have to be like that, you know, you, you can do it, you can have a diet where you don't have to starve yourself, you can make time for exercise. Um, also another thing, you go into supermarkets now and you just see all these choices, you've got 30% less fat, um, zero sugar, low fat, low sugar um, and all these, you go to the snack bar aisle and there's like a full aisle full of snacks that you can eat now and the amount of different cereals you know to eat, you know, which ones are going to be the best and the best thing for you, for you to do um, is to try these out yourself you need to find the exact diet that works for you um, so I would definitely recommend that you cut down on your sugar because sugar is a real big one. A lot of people think that um, fat is the big one. Um, a lot of people are nervous about eating fat because they think they're going to put weight on but it's not the case at all. Sugar is the bad guy here. Now you want to cut back on your sugar big time and another big thing with losing weight is keeping hydrated. I don't know whether you realize that but you need to make sure that you're, you're drinking plenty of water um, that can make a big difference with your weight loss too. And another one is um, make sure you get plenty of fresh air. And sleep. Sleep's a big one because sleep, um, growth hormone is, re is released when you sleep. And that's when you lose most of your fat, when you sleep. And a lot of people don't know that. When you're getting plenty of sleep, that's when your metabolism is working and losing your fat. Um, another big one is exercise. Make sure you're getting 
some exercise every day, if you just for a quick walk somewhere and you're getting out in the fresh air, um, especially people that work behind desks, you know, making sure you get up regularly and moving around. Um, and then you come to your diet itself. You're making sure you're getting plenty of fresh fruit and vegetables and protein, good protein, and cut back on the, the bad carbohydrates, the bad sugars, you know, like your pastries, your cakes, your pizzas, your processed foods. You want to try and eat um, a, a well-balanced diet, you know, try and eat foods that aren't out of a packet, that you're cooking them yourselves. Um, so that's basically um, a well-balanced diet. And if you're doing all these things, you can be seeing some changes with your weight, definitely, by cutting back on sugar, especially is a big one. If you can't do a lot of the other things, cutting back on the sugar, and um, you should start seeing some results. And also, another big one is you might be intolerant to some foods that you didn't know about. So try and cut down on some dairy. Um, try cutting gluten out for two weeks and wheat and see if that makes a difference. You now some people think um, you, you don't have to be allergic to something. You could be just slightly intolerant and it could be affecting your digestion a little bit, causing a bit of bloating. So by cutting that out, um, you could find that that helps you lose weight big time. Um, I know it's worked for myself. Um, you know, it's worked for me a, a lot. I just cut that out completely and um, I don't eat wheat and gluten anymore because I find that I'm not allergic to it but I find by not eating it, it really helps me with my weight loss. So I hope that's really helped some of you um, about weight loss and the things that you should be eating and cutting back on on things that you shouldn't and also about some diets that they don't really work long term. Um, if you're still struggling, if you're still having some issues or you'd want to talk to somebody about it, you need some a bit more information, then please don't hesitate to get in touch. Um, you can see my details below. Um, it's Healthy Lifestyle and um, I really look forward to helping you if I can and uh, I hope you have a great day today and uh, I look forward to speaking to you soon. So bye for now.